You know, I became a doctor to help people. So my goal every day in this office is, you know, I expect miracles. And I come in here expecting the very best for every patient, no matter what they've been told or what their mindset is. I know where we can take their health. You know, what we provide when we come into corporations is a very individualized approach. And it's also a way for upper management to show their employees that they care about them. You know, they've brought in a physician, an educated person to excite them, but also to boost morale. And in a very short amount of time, we can give them useful information that won't just help them at work, but also at home. And ultimately, that is why people are there to work they want to better their families in addition to the company, and we can kind of marry those two together. The wellness champions are focused primarily on prevention and addressing problems before they even start. I know they do work with children and infants and are interested in people maintaining functional health. Our speaker was Dr. Martin, and he was great at getting people to make the switch to thinking proactively about their health instead of reacting to their health conditions. If all you do is react, you're always a step behind. So once we've gone through your health and wellness, what we wind up doing is we put people on a wellness program and a lot of times your wellness is more like a maintenance, it's, it's more of a change that we kind of shift the responsibility to you. And you know, in our office we've got a bunch of high level athletes, you know, some of them are U of L athletes, some are professionals, especially the U of L athletes, they've got every resource known to man at their disposal. I mean, they've got the doctors, the, the physicians, the, the physical therapists, the chiropractors, you know, physiologists, goodness, they've even got flexibility and strength and conditioning coaches, they've even got nutritionists, you know. And they also have a, an off-season. They've got four to six months for an off-season every year. I mean, wouldn't you love to have an off-season every year? I mean, of course you would, right? That'd be awesome. What we've got to do is we've got to get this idea that we're kind of corporate athletes. And, you know, that's really what I try to impress upon all my patients is that is your health, man. It's got to be daily. You know, if it's not daily, it's at least got to be weekly. We just don't get that huge downtime to kind of rest and, and rev up for the next six months. You know, these athletes get that. And they're considered workhorses because, you know, their careers go on for four to eight years or so. But, you know, they also have those off seasons to prepare for that. The Wellness Champions coming in here has helped a lot. Uh, we've got a lot of stress here and Dr. Sean has given us uh, several methods to help alleviate the stress and really boost productivity while at the same time decreasing absenteeism. As simple as uh, walking, you know, just walking 30 minutes a day, five days a week can reduce your risk of heart attack or heart disease, I should say, by 50% up to the age of 70 regardless of family history, okay? So even if you've had five people in your family who've had heart attacks, just that stat alone is going to make sure that you kind of dodge the nation's number one killer. By having a Dr. Sean here and interacting with people, as well as answering our employees' questions, they really provide a benefit. A lot of people don't want to watch a video or read a website. Our team would rather just come and listen to somebody and then ask questions. We genuinely care about what they're doing outside of the office. When I'm working on a patient in here, it's really a means to an end. My time in here is really geared towards whatever it is they're going to do outside of the office. And where I get genuinely interested is, you know, how is this going to affect them in their daily life? Who is it going to affect? Is it their children? Their grandchildren? Is there an activity they couldn't do before they came in that they used to be able to do? But now we've given them some quality of life back, not just quantity of years.